So here's a here's an open question. When does this game look like it came out? Well, it's 16 by 9, so relatively yeah. recently. Right, so this, this game was released in 2016. That, that's a spoiler. No, really, actually, but like... this this version of the game was released in like early this year or late last year. I can't remember exactly when, but... But, <laughs> but if you had to put your finger on what era of adventure game this looked like it was, just it looks like it is just right now, what would you say? Oh, it'd be like mid '90s. Yeah, like kind of that scum era. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, there's. Vibe. Well, you know, there's that. There's a bunch of people who just keep making like '90s point-and-click adventure games and just never stopped. <laughs> like, we a number of years ago we did a little thing on Primordia, which is like this. You know, in terms of like it's a '90s-ish point-and-click adventure game in terms of aesthetics. The puzzles in these games are not nearly as bad as as some of those got. Um, but yeah, like turns out, you know this genre was never really dead, it just turned into an indie genre instead. Yeah, so this is uh, Kathy Rain, which is a video game about a college-aged lady in the 90s going back to her hometown and discovering that weird, crazy stuff is going on. What kind of, what kind of weird, crazy stuff? we talking about here. Well, um, her grandfather passed away, but something weird happened to her grandfather years before he passed away. We'll, we'll get into it. So we're going to hit a new game here. Oh, damn. Yeah. This is the kind of, like, 90s adventure game environment I enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you. Uh, hey. Oh, man. With her boots on? Oh, Take your God, fucking boots off so first, lady. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit. I, I have a complaint a lot. This voice acting's too good I, uh, for a mid-90s adventure game. I to yeah, tell you. yes it is. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So, I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper. Gabriel Mike, I... that's what this looks like. Listen, Eileen, I'm hmm. totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out. So I noticed this article about a war veteran so from Conwell Springs it's who just a died. room divided in half. I that you used to live but they there both and have bunk beds. Oh, how I wish for joyful yeah. stress. It's probably four people living in here, like minimum. His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. I wonder what the copyright logic is for you that Titanic him, right? poster, right? You like, how it. close is it to I infringing? Knew you'd know him. In the Pulp Fiction poster? I don't, I don't think they could. I mean, yeah, there's... They could. They could. There's some, uh, there's a case a little while ago yeah, where a dude made a pixelated is, version of some jazz album fun. cover for his, like, 8-bit covers of hey, the jazz you, album. I told you where and, I like, oh, essentially what ensued was a lawsuit well, that I ruined his life. Sort of looked you up. That is not oh, it's cool, like Bittersweet Eileen. Symphony. Seriously. Don't fuck with Eileen Stones. I couldn't help stones. myself. Well, one of these I think you're it's different if you're to making order. if you're taking an album cover and pixelating it I know. for your own album than it is you like know, that is that is decoration on a wall in a video tomorrow. game for 2 seconds. Okay. Yeah, but go? put a yeah. Pikachu in here and find out what happens. Good night, Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, it's Kevin. it's funny because actually uh dubiously legally sticking a bunch of movie posters in your video game is pretty much the best way you could make it feel like something from the 90s. September 25th, 1995. There's... See, I was... Oh, God, six. make it stop. I was six. Four. I was almost six. Titanic released no. in 1997. This game is bullshit. Oh, uh, no, I was 11. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, like, wait a minute, you're not one year older than me. Red Scarn blew my cover, is there. what happened, because everyone knows Red Scarn's much younger such than a long me. Drive. I set so. the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later, E. I'm so getting a new roommate. 
Okay, she did just say roommate singular, well, which does imply that these bunk beds are just for- they decide that they need to be six feet vertical one yeah. particular day. My well, she keeps her electric guitar, guitar on top of her bed, so... Help me get rid of my last In the comments, words. did women have this cool, like, hair fade, the flick. underneath hair fade in the 90s? Because I do not recall the that. Thing. I feel like what that's more of, like, no. a 2010s so thing. Yeah. I associate that with, like, Messy. mid Just to late 2000s. Like, I specifically with, like, the scene, like, emo look. Yeah, she looks like a scene girl. Totally. A computer. I mean, even the eyebrow piercing isn't really something, like, you had that in the 90s, but that was more like an extreme punk thing, and it wasn't as normalized and sort of pop as it is today. Now, now everybody has them. I don't know. I think we. I don't think we're. I don't think we have enough Cam FDM sounds in this ventro to answer that question. Spoiler alert: the boat sinks. Eileen's closet, filled to the brink with inherited clothes and. I say that I enjoy it, but I enjoy the music exactly how it wasn't intended to be enjoyed while sitting quietly at home. Yeah, so this is the director's cut edition of this game. I played through the original version some years ago. Um, also, she has a Harley. <laughs> um, I, I I played through the original version some years ago. I just honestly I don't remember that much about like what happens in it. It's been long enough that like I I kind of have broad strokes ideas of what's going on, you know but like I not over, specific. Um. It's got to be to compliment me on my driving. And, uh, right? and, and the different, like, man? that was 4x3, I right remember, so, enough. like, they've changed the you aspect ratio in the going? director's cut. I have no idea what yes. else they've added or, or changed around. And? Uh, yes, sir? <laughs> the smart ass playing dumb. Okay, Aren't if you just, just the like, perfect blend of obnoxious? Enough. Shut up. No <laughs> one talks like that. I guess so. Except the 90s adventure game is. characters. Sorry, yeah, did 90s there. adventure the game cops talk like that? I I'll be I'll be honest. I'd be really disappointed if he doesn't like handcuff well, us, but then he has to go answer a call on his like radio, <laughs> and we have to like unpick our handcuffs using chewing gum and some bullshit in our pockets. <laughs> oh, to the movies? I prefer horror flicks. Regular comedian, huh? Don't quit your day job. This is basic, like, I have to say, this is basically how 90s adventure game comedy worked to a T. Like, oh, yeah. lines like, don't quit your day job is like, even funny adventure games from this era have a lot of jokes like that. Where it's just kind of like, the joke is more that someone is saying something crass or irreverent in a video game than it is particularly what they're saying. Well, here we are after a 40 minute drive. And How much does it cost to have your own ticket. crypt? That's uh, a good question. I want my own crypt, but I wanted to have a gag. Cool. <laughs> so if anyone tries to go in, the little puppet comes out. <laughs> I think it no does depend on where. No time for. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity. A it is some adventure game characters, all right. Decorated war hero. Yeah. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing, while our loss, is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I have no idea where this game is supposed Ensure to take place, but it's definitely giving me like East Coast vibes. Lives, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I don't know, man. This we could be like our frail bodies farm so area of California. I looked up the developer. They're Swedish, so I don't know if this is just a pastiche of Americana, be glory forever. or maybe it's I supposed to be somewhere that. in Sweden. It's not. It's not in Sweden. No. This is definitely in America. I mean, did you see I, that cop? I don't think anyone thinks ever gonna be. Uh, oh, Kathy, you big baby, it, just talk to her. Ride to Hell Redemption, and it's Northern California. And it looks exactly like Arizona. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> Mrs. Rain. Uh, yeah, Northern California, famously the place that's exactly like Arizona. It's me. 
No, it's it really looks Catherine. like um Catherine? Like uh, Fresno maybe. I guess it's Gilroy. I think so. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Livermore. Kathy. I'm ruling out a lot of town vibes with the massive graveyards. That's like 100% like upstate New York shit. No, man. I will I don't know. I don't know. The water tower and stuff. To me, it's just. I, I think it could be any farm, honestly. Yeah. Fifteen. Guys, this game takes place in Conwell Springs. That settled it. Oh, okay. So, right. Of course. Southern Colorado. How could we? How could we be so foolish? Why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. Okay, so, so, so far, is... it is definitely like oh taking the. For us to have a the to like, it, it, the, the actual narrative Same elements way. of it we'll have a little bit more room to breathe than they do in oh, some, yeah. some similar yeah. games. We, we didn't have to solve some early puzzle to find our shoes or something to leave the initial screen Rest or something. Peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. Nah, we can talk more later at the house. Conwell Springs. I never thought I'd return. I actually to think adventure games might be one of the genres that I have like the, the most cross generational personal price. experience with. The family must have been fairly like rich. in terms Those of like like there are eras of shooter, for example, that I basically skipped out on. Same for like top down RPGs, but like adventure games that kind of always just been there for them since I was Thanks. like five years you old. To find God. It's I'm always sure just kind of seeing how they how they came around. Is that uh, so? There was a big drought Here. for a lot of years, but it's never too late to yeah. get away from the path of sin. <laughs> no priest uh, how does do you want this. to respond to this dude? <laughs> I went to no, I went to a funeral in like Upper Minnesota, and the priest there didn't even do this to people. No one does this. No one. Yeah, does no. This, this priest is giving names. me like like evangelical vibes, which is not what a priest would be like. You're not familiar with the concept of a lost cause, are you? That's where you're wrong, my child. Anyone with the will to change can be redeemed in God's eyes. Sure thing, buddy. You've convinced me. That's the other How thing is like the redemption on my bucket list. Of this I'll pray for like... you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. Northeastern makes more sense, but I, I guess there are a lot of Catholics in like California, though. So I really enjoyed like the way that her avatar got small. She walked into the background. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I appreciated that. Zips. <laughs> yeah. Just like janky perspective at all. It's great. Bike selection. Bike selection. I don't think this was in the original game. Oh, shit. Yeah, so this is a fast travel screen, which is pretty rad. Similar to the one in uh, Full Throttle, that one I think was just like a full-on overworld map. Anybody home? I never actually played Full Throttle. I watched my cousin play a lot of it, but well, I never played. It's it, a great so. game. If you ever want to experience it, just it's set aside four to five minutes one rainy afternoon, and that'll get you through <laughs> it. Grandma must have had this restored yeah. recently. A mere single I'll be honest, like, I could not believe that I had beaten Full Throttle worlds. upon the point where I had beaten Full Throttle. Not too dusty. Is it really that short? Used it towards the end. It's it's not long. Here, let me let me look up how long it took me. And I I was not I think I used a, a walkthrough for one puzzle. Josh, you're better off using that time plane loom. True. Which is about the same amount of time. Maybe a little bit longer, but not much. <laughs> A wedding photo from when my grandparents married. Bad news, I they bought it on Good Old Games, now. so it didn't wasn't tracking changed. any of my data inconveniently. It's a photo. I think it took me about two hours total. From way back, it says. Okay, 12, this farm is from quarter. June 12, 1910. I think that's that's swinging this more towards definitely New England than it is to like upstate California. Oh, maybe. There's a lot of houses up here that are. Okay, not a lot of houses, springs? actually. Who names oh, their hello, thing springs in the East Coast, so except for Florida? Sorry, I couldn't resist. That's true. That is a weird name. 
for a new Springs England is town. for the west areas. You haven't changed this is the main puzzle in the game, right? This is the thing we're supposed to be solving. <laughs> yeah, where the fuck are we actually? It could be Colorado or something, I guess. I think Colorado might be the right place for this. It feels right. So, it's it's very flat though. It's very city. flat out there. Oh, there's not. Colorado well, can get flat. Um, so for a yeah. yeah, like the eastern half year. of Colorado is basically West Kansas, Kansas, and then you run into the Rocky uh -huh. Mountains. That's right. Just like your father. Well, no, if we see yeah, mountains suppose. in the distance, like I even if dance. they're in the far distance, so we can that see Colorado. that looks like mountains in the Anything distance in the background there, doesn't it? No. Yeah, it does. Clouds. clouds. Hmm. He Josh, step outside. No matter that your grandma to hit the bricks. How <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'm sorry. Hey, grandma, I this might be a weird question. About... What state and county are we in, Grandma? <laughs> Can you please tell me? <laughs> uh. Mom is. Okay. I so, this is real shit going on. I feel like we owe it to ourselves to pay more attention. Couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, so basically, to recap. um... In spite of everything that happened when she uh, took you our protagonist Kathy, yeah, uh, that. her mom sorry, took her away from her extended mom, family, which I believe was her dad's family. Um, when I was old enough to understand, what no, she was maybe doing, it, maybe it was. I felt like no, I think it's her dad's family. Uh, and anyway, uh, so so her grandma hadn't seen her until the funeral for like 15 years or whatever. So they're just catching up now, and apparently her mom. So what about you? It not, was not doing How well doing after all that, years? and uh, is now in a mental institution. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. Oh man, I almost said a don't Batman spoiler. Whoa, I close one, you guys. <laughs> I was this fucking August close 16th, to just making a little comment, and I did it. So it was Batman the of, of the Colorado. Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet, with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Since that day, he never spoke a word. Forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? For all this time? I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? Hmm. I haven't the faintest idea. So this was 14 years ago? He acted very peculiar not long Hold before on. it happened. Disappearing for hours at a time. They said 81. I suspected he was having an affair. Yeah. Can we use the taser on Grandma? He just said he was chasing old demons. <laughs> yeah, Is sure, that a why SWAT not? SWAT 4 reference? Maybe no, we literally have a taser. Stress disorder? Grandma we have, yeah, we, we, time we have a taser? Did I miss that? I, I believe know, so. I, I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I I'm gonna be real embarrassed if it's like a remote control. Me with it, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, it's generally a bad idea to confuse the taser with a remote control. Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. It's all a load of tripe. Yeah, there was a serial killing in uh, 1981 in Colorado. It's one of state-of-the-art head scans. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I've heard of them. I'm, glad I'm, the I'm sorry. The to the scan, if my husband comes intact. home and he's covered in mud and is like something some kind hit him glitch. maybe with a lead pipe, I'm gonna think that maybe he was a serial killer. <laughs> His victim maybe fought so back, especially if he doesn't want to talk about it. The state he was in. Hmm. It's definitely one scenario that, on like, is going to be considered dually <laughs> alongside other scenarios. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found... I mean, Joseph attempted surreal murdering is also possible. It was very was popular in the late 70s. Kind of sure, 81 is not technically the late 70s, but it's pretty close. 
later said that he was. There's all sorts of theories. Like somebody brought up the question, like why does America did have America have so many serial killers for a window then, and then they stopped? And there's so many different reasons that I don't feel really qualified to examine. But I would humbly submit that one reason is that like. Now, when people see their neighbor going out in the backyard with like a shovel and whistling, yeah. boy, I sure do love murdering people, that does tend it's to raise door. more eyebrows. It's 100% yeah, next door, for sure. We have a stun gun. We have got a stun gun. Does it have a line of dialogue for we try to use the stun gun on something inappropriate? Like Grandma. Yes. What do you think like about grandma? this church, Grandma? They seem harmless. It's time to, to sleep, they Grandma. It's time to join Pushy Grandpa. Times. Hey, Grandma, huh, I have this TV show that I wanted to pitch. This movie that I wanted to pitch called Jackass. I think it's really going <laughs> to really kick Trump off. So, grandma, I like your house and I've decided I need to inherit it. I don't want to show her that. She'll just start <laughs> worrying about me. I don't want to show her that. She'll just start worrying about me. What do you think about, about cigarettes? I don't want to show her I don't want to show her that. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back What later. do you want to show your grandma, so Kathy? NZ-500 self-defense stun gun. Okay, does it NZ actually not permit you to just, like, grab it out of your inventory and wave it over no. things? Oh, no, okay. You stun oh, gun on go. Grandma. There. You have a sick mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. They passed. That was a test. They passed. Thank you.